Aloha and welcome to Keiki Fishing Adventures. I'm Elijah and have you ever had your sling almost broken or even break? Well, I have the solution just for you. I use old rubber bike tires and just cut a long strip just like this. And all you gotta do is straighten out the sling and then go right underneath the broken part just like this and make sure you wrap it around super tight when you're doing it. So like you're pulling it super tight. And make sure you put some half hitches in there just so it stays in place. You wanna do it just like that. And this makes it so that when you're pulling the sling, it's not stretching out the messed up part right here. As you can see, look. Right here, it's just stretching out down here. And not even up here, it's even getting stretched. The other way we make sure the sling stays tight is using electrical tape. This is mainly a one-time use, like if you're in a pinch, because it doesn't do really good with the water. But all you gotta do is like the same thing with the old bike tire. You take the tape, you make sure the sling's tight. Then all you gotta do is put the tape right underneath the messed up part. Make sure it's tight and then you just gotta wrap it around super tight. Just like this. Make sure you wrap it around like a good like 10 times or so, just so it's secure. And then just cut off. And then there you go. Just like that. Stay secure. All nice. It just, this way is way easier, but the thing about it is it just doesn't do good with the water. And that's it. I have two more tips for you guys, and to do with the old bicycle tires. What you want to do is cut a strip, like so. This is basically our own makeshift rubber bands. They're super durable and last years longer than the old ones you'll get at any store. And we like to use these because they don't melt as much. Really important. We use these for fishing line and to keep our setups together. The other way we use the bicycle tire is for a lua fishing. All you gotta do. Is cut a strip off just like this and then take your little hook I know this is not a little hook but it's just for demonstration purposes and then after you put your live bait on you put the hook like so right through the rubber and this just makes it so that it's way harder for the fish to get off because over time the fish will just make a big enough hole inside of the skin where you hooked it where it can just slide off the hook. Aloha! Careful. Coming up next week, we show you how to go fishing for Ninui. I don't know. Thank you for watching Keiki Fishing Adventures. Remember to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mahalo!